Hi, this is Ben. This video is to show you how to add more than one Wi-Fi SSID to your Link CI running on a Raspberry Pi. Of course, this will work for anyone using a Raspberry Pi, but this application is for the Link CI cryptocurrency. Let's log into our Raspberry Pi. Now that we're logged into the Raspberry Pi, we need to edit the WPA supplicant configuration file. What's that, you might ask? Well, don't worry about it. When you log into Link CI, the message of the day has the full path to the file you need to edit. So just highlight it with your cursor, and we're going to type sudo, because it's a root-owned file, so we need to use sudo to use the editor nano. So type sudo space nano, and then paste the path, paste the path to the file next. Then hit return. You'll be prompted to enter your password for your Lynx account. In my case, it's still the password Lynx. I haven't changed it yet. You're going to see the configuration that we had done in a previous video with the original SSID credentials to get onto our default Wi-Fi network. But now it's time to add a second one. Go ahead and copy paste everything within the network section, network on down. That should be five lines. Copy that and then move your cursor down below, give it a space and paste it. So your screen looks something like mine. Now it's time to change the SSID for the second one to your other Wi-Fi uh, connection that you want to connect to and I'm changing mine. The reason why you might do this in my case is when I'm at conferences or conventions or meetups I like to put a Raspberry Pi in my bag and I plug it into a power pack and I have my phone tether uh, through my cell phone provider and I turn that on and this is the credentials for my phone tether Wi-Fi and then I can take the, the Raspberry Pi out of my bag, plug it into the power pack, turn on the tether feature on my phone, and I have a fully functional Raspberry Pi running links that's mining and confirming transactions on the network. So that's why I do this, because it's fun for demos, but there may be another application. Maybe you're moving a Raspberry Pi between two offices and you want to make sure you never lose access to it. Okay, so I've added my second SSID and the password for it. I'm going to hit Control O to save it, and then I'm going to hit Control X to get out of the file. So in order to truly commit the change and see it working, I'm just going to type sudo and then reboot, and that will reboot the Raspberry Pi. When it comes back up, it will connect to the first SSID in the list that it can get uh, an authenticated connection to. So order them in the preference that you would like. I hope this video was helpful.